As an intern at Clockwork 9 who also works at Brema Garden Center and Nursery, I've gotten to learn a lot about the relationship between plant and home and plant and office. Many people think of indoor plants as just another annoying responsibility, but it actually has a lot of health benefits and mental benefits. In a study performed by NASA, it was found that a variety of these houseplants, or even just one, can drastically improve the air quality within your home. Whether through accidental cross-contamination or intentionally distributed during production, compounds such as formaldehyde and benzene have been found in products such as paper towels, paint, or wall insulation. Since you can't control what you breathe in outdoors, it's very important to take it in your hands to control what you breathe in inside. So here's a list of nine plants to help you purify the air in your home. Number one is the tropical peace lily. It's recognized for its large, unique white blooms and its moderate to fast maturing rate. It starts out as just 12 inches and it can grow about four feet in two years. Number two is the snake plant. If you have the opposite of a green thumb, then this guy's for you. They love humidity, but they can pretty much go in any lighting. So long as they have some indirect light, they could pretty much be anywhere except a closet. Number three is the bamboo palm, or less commonly known as the parlor palm. They can start out very small and grow pretty slowly. So make sure that you buy one that's already moderately sized if you want one that's really stand out. The bamboo palm features green leaves and small little yellow flowers and sometimes even little fruits, but these are not edible and should be picked off immediately. Up next is number four, pothos. Instead of choosing just one specific potho, I decided to include this entire genius category because of just how great it is at air purifying. This Chinese native plant is very popular specifically for the reason of air purification. Number five, the Boston fern. It's also known as the sword fern and it goes by a couple other different names. It's native to Ohio and absolutely loves humidity. It does best in indirect light, so putting it in a bathroom where it's not experiencing too harsh of light will be great. Number six, the philodendron. These guys come in so many different shapes and sizes, but almost always prefer to climb upwards, so it's best if you stake them with a moss or a wooden stake. Number seven is the spider plant, known for its spindly trailing stems. This indoor plant comes in two main color patterns, one a solid green and the other with a variegated white stripe. They prefer a bi-weekly watering schedule, so it's great for those of us who forget. Number eight is the Draxina marginata. The marginata is a very specific variety of Draxina known for its green and lime stripes along its leaves. With the Draxina, much like many others, there's so many different shapes, size, and colors to pick between. Lastly is number nine, the aloe vera. Many of you have probably already heard of it and know it for its medicinal purposes for burns or acne, but it also can deeply help purify the air and remove things like formaldehyde. Just because these plants are good for us and the air around us doesn't mean that it's great for our furry friends. Before buying a plant, it's very important to do some research to see if it's gonna be compatible for small children, cats, dogs, anything that could get their hands, paws, or mouths on. Of the plants I listed, Boston ferns, bamboo palms, and spider plant are all completely safe and non-toxic. This doesn't mean that you'll never be able to own a philodendron or a pothos, but if you do have children or a small animal, it's very important to keep them out of their reach. Not only can plants help filter out these harmful VOCs, but they also have tons of body and mind benefits. For those working in the creative field, this is especially for you. It's very important to get outside in nature to let the natural world inspire you. However, sometimes we can't always go outside, whether because of workload or because of the pollution outside. Sometimes we're stuck indoors. For the times that you're stuck in your home or office, stock up on doses of Mother Earth to help inspire you and keep you healthy. Adding some greenery to your workspace is a great way to boost productivity and creativity. The color green alone has been linked to the reduction of stress and the boosting of productivity. 
So where there's more room to think, there's less room to worry. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something new about what plants can do for you and for your home. We'll see you in the next video.